Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Firebase video. In this video, we're going to learn how to add the Google sign-in. And with the Google sign-in, it's going to be a lot different because we're going to be needing some more stuff. As usual, we're going to be using, needing another pod for this thing, for our Google sign-in. So, I'll just, I'm going to zoom there. Here, let me, <clears throat> um, here, let me change this. Here, I'll just make the font a little bit bigger, I guess, because it's kind of small. Okay, so that's good. Okay, again, we're going to be seeding into desktop. And then ls and we're going to check that we do have new server test there so we're going to do cd new server test again and if, if you know the drill we're going to do a vi pod file and again i changed something here if you look here at this other one this is the one we added right here the pod Google sign in. This will allow you to sign in with Google and use the services of Google. Okay. And then, as usual, you run pod install. And then press enter. Well, I could do that right now because basically it just installs any pods that you do have there, but like new pods, but the old. If you have any old pods, you can still run pod install, but it just won't install anything. Okay. So, we'll just go ahead and I'm going to open up the XC workspace. Okay. Now, we're going to go... We're going to look at the docs. Because there's some stuff in here that is very useful. <clears throat> that you is a must know if you're going to add a Google sign in. Okay. Seems like my Wi Fi was just lagging out in that moment. Okay. We're going to get started for free. <clears throat> and again, we're going to go into our app, new server test. And actually, we see that we've got a few users here. Okay. So let's go to authentication. And what we're going to be doing is not just email and password, we're also going to be enabling Google. And <clears throat> this tab is really important. We're, we're going to be needing that. Okay. And if you ever have like a different app, your, your, your web client ID will always be different because it's a different app. Okay. And once you enable that, we don't need anything there. We're going to go directly to docs, but I'll explain it for you myself. So we get this, we get Google sign-in over here, right there. And what we want to do over here is, let's go to app, app delegate. Again, we're going to import it. And we're going to be needing this delegate. GID sign in UI delegate. And we added a few more things here. GID sign in dot shared instance dot client ID equals what we have over here. So you're gonna be needing to create one of these. So go to console.developers.google.com if you yeah have a Google account, otherwise you can't use Firebase because Firebase is part of Google too. Okay, and you're gonna be going to credentials and create an OAuth 
client ID. And again, we're going to be selecting iOS and put in your bundle ID, which for me is com dot Jeffrey Wong dot new server test. If we look back here, I'm pretty sure I got that correct. Okay, yeah. And then you can just press create, but I already created it. <coughs> and after that, what you're going to want to do is go to new server test as usual, info, URL types, and we have a few here because it kept on giving me errors. This is the one that we that we had. Except for it's reverse. So you're going to have to find a way to reverse this. So if you ever run an app and you don't add uh, URL types, it's going to give you Sigabart. Here, let's say I, I'm going to copy that. And I delete this. Try to run. And we added a few more. This is also the chance to see the new app, which is sort of new, but um, not really new. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Not really new. <clears throat> okay. What we've got here. Register with Google. We see that we get Sigabart. <clears throat> and... If you ever get Sigabart in this kind of situation, I've gotten it about a billion times before making this video because, again, a big project like this always comes with a bunch of errors. So if we go up here, it says, Reason, your app is missing support for the following URL schemes. So so. Note that this is the same as what I had done. If I... Let's say I, oh, if I go back here, you, I'm going to highlight that, and I go to Spotlight, and I show you, com.googleusercontent.apps.193218895. They're the same, because it says, <coughs> your app is missing support for the following URL schemes. What that means is, you need to support it, which which is add in the URL types. So we're going to add one again. And again, just do that. And now if we run it, no problem. <coughs> now this is, this is what we are going to be doing today. We ha we're adding just one button, register Google. And it takes you to this page with the accounts. Normally, <clears throat> I would not be signed in, but I just, I, I just am. And then you press allow, sends you back. Now, essentially, what it's doing is it's not really creating an account, but it's creating. It's basically you can you can use your Google account, and every time it'll save the data for the Google account, and. It's not it's not gonna create a user because creating a user for all Google accounts is gonna be painful because you don't know how many Google accounts are there. How many Google accounts are there? So oh okay, so ninety million users. Okay, so we're talking about 90 million users. Firebase is probably going to lag out so hard for that. Okay, so that's why that's why it's not creating an account. And if you try creating an account, it's going to give you an error. So, and in here, we didn't really do anything to log because we did that. And this now it's letting you sign in it's creating a, a GID sign in shared instance 
and then it's signing out, which is basically signing out the current users who have signed in, and then doing a sign in. And we see the functions for sign in down here. We'll cover in that in depth in the second part. So this is this pretty much concludes part one of our of our Google registration. So look for part two. Bye.